Hey everyone, FB here to bring you a cast of the ESL Stadium Nations Challenge 2015 group stage match between Germany and the Netherlands. Uh, this is the last play day of Group A where top two will advance to the playoffs and this match was moved to Monday and yesterday we saw Czech Republic and Slovakia defeating United Kingdom with a 21-8 score which was the only match played in the group to my knowledge. With that result, Czech Republic and Slovakia reached 12 points and are with that tied with Germany who of course still got their last match left to be played. Netherlands are at 3rd place at 9 points with 3 wins and 1 loss and will have a small chance to still make it through but basically need to win all 3 maps and not lose more than 2 rounds in the whole match if they want to make it so. As for the format, the matches are played in 3 sub-matches, 1 tech map, 1 dirt map and 1 speed map. A 4 vs 4 format is used on all 3 maps and is always played to 7. For this tournament though, it doesn't matter how many maps you win, instead every round counts as a point and whoever got the most combined points after the 3 maps have been played will be the winner. And I believe we are doing a couple of warm-ups, uh, two warm-ups it says in the chat. And we will start on the dirt track, which is uh, this one, uh, called Chinoir and made by Cousin. The world record is 49.214 by DNB. And uh, DNB will be playing for uh, Germany in this sub match. And um, see who else will be playing. The lineups are not really uh, set in stone yet by the looks of it. Okay, for Germany, it looks like it's gonna be Kai, DNB, Shadow, and Massa playing the dirt track. And we'll see who will be playing for uh, the Netherlands. But uh, one key player that is uh, seemingly missing here for Germany is Speed You Need, who is a very good dirt player, one of the best. But yeah, basically, the Netherlands. Uh, Need to win all the sub matches. Not, that's not going to be an easy task against this uh, German team, who, of course, are the defending champions from uh, last year when they took down Sweden in the grand final. Alright, I think this is going to be the last warm up. And uh, as that one is going on, let's just take a quick look at the Deddy, the, the fastest time set online. We see that DNB got the second fastest time. 49.33. Fool for the Netherlands is at top 10 with 49.58. And then Massa is also in the Derry at 23rd place with a time of 49.85. And those are the only players in the Derry. And as we are waiting uh, for the match to start, I also want to make a shout out to Dutchie who is uh, hosting the server. So thanks very much, Dutchie, for that. Place for a new era, I believe. And if it's the same Dutchie I'm thinking of, he did pretty good in uh, Massa Surs Cup, which was uh, hosted uh, this previous weekend. Alright, uh, looks like we'll have one more warm up before we start. And I see a question here in the chat uh, if I will be casting the Dirt Premiership 4 final in two weeks. Um, well, it depends. If it's not crashing with uh, uh, Stadium Nations Challenge or CPS 15, then uh, I would definitely do it. But the problem is, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, that um, the default time is always set to Sunday for most tournaments, so it's kind of hard to like to cover more than one at the same time, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, if, if it's possible, then I will definitely cast it. Because I don't think there's going to be any other English uh, overview casts for that. Could be wrong, though. Alright, I think that's going to be it. So we are starting the match. Good luck, have fun. And we'll see if the lineups uh, will be uh, completed. After this restart. But yeah, this is 
the ESL Stadium Nations Challenge 2015, the last group stage day, group stage phase. Germany are taking on the Netherlands, and the Netherlands will have to win all the sub matches and at the same time not lose more than two rounds during the whole match, and that's not going to be easy. And now we see the lineups as well for Germany. It's going to be DNB, uh, Kai, Massa, and Shadow. And for Netherlands, we got Fool, Kuhn, Spam, and Marco. And off we go, following DNB, who got the world record on this track. And he gets a really bad start. Uh, misses uh, to drive over the road at the left corner. Instead, uh, went on the dirt surface and lost his grip. And we see Massa clipping the wall in the uphill turn. DNB can pass him. Kuhn's takes the lead for Netherlands ahead of Fool. Koons is uh, much more of a tech player, while Fool is a dirt player, drives for Team Fox. DNB will advance here in the field, goes up to fourth place, spam at third, so this is looking to be a red point. Netherlands off to a good start, but then Koons will end up crashing here late into the round, and DNB goes up to second place, and then Kai goes up to third for Germany, and that's gonna make it a draw instead. That definitely would have been a point for Netherlands, but late mistakes from Koons, and I think also Spam might have uh, hit the wall or something. Uh, and that allowed Germany to make it a draw instead. And now DNB gets much a much better start compared to the previous round. Takes the lead here in the start. Through the jump. He's in the lead with 300s or 800s now. Kai has dropped down to the last position. And DNB keeps that same distance, more or less. Fool has now gone up to second place. Spam keeps in keeps the third place. Uh, but then we, we have Shadow and Massa and Fort at fifth place. This is gonna be a close round. Not sure who's gonna win it. Oh, and then DNB will end up hitting the wall. Fool can pass him. And will take first place, 49.82. However, we see that DNB, Shadow, and Massa will take the next positions, and that will make it a point for Germany. One zero. I think uh, Netherlands. Um, could realistically defeat Germany on the tech and dirt map, but uh, on full speed, Germany are very, very strong, and I don't really see Netherlands winning that one, but we'll just have to wait and see. As we see, DNB not able to make the jump, and he's gonna be behind with quite a lot of seconds. He still made it though, so he can finish the round and get a point. Let's take a look at the top it's Shadow and Fool battling for first with Kai not far behind and those three players uh, with uh, a huge lead over everyone else good section there by Kai goes up to first place looks like this might be a draw if, Sha if uh, Kai and Shadow takes first and second but a really bad ending there from both Shadow and Kai and Fool is able to sneak by and take first place 400s out of Shadow and 1800s out of Kai uh, who won it? It was Netherlands, so they will tie up the score. Going live into the next round. Oh, as we see DNB clipping the wall. And then Shadow hits the wall before the jump. Still got enough speed to make it though. See also that spam has dropped down for Netherlands. Not good speed at all there for DNB. Shadow will pass him, but not the uh, spam. Okay, he will also pass in uh, the next part. And then TNB off on his back. And that means that he's not going to be able to get any points. See if the Netherlands can capitalize on that fool. And Kuhn's first and second place just ahead of Kai and Massa. As we are nearing the end, good speed here from Kai. Kuhn's hitting the wall in the end, that could be crucial, and that's definitely gonna be crucial. Fool hits the edge of the wall, and Massa and Kai can pass to take first and second place. 
So it didn't matter that DNB couldn't finish the round. Germany win anyway, and the score is now 2 1. So far, it's Fool who got the most amount of points in the team scores with 29. Ahead of Kai with 21, Shadow with 19, Koons with 18, Masa with 17, DMB with 15, Spam with 13, and Marco with 11. Looks like Masa is at last place, but uh, it's a pretty close pack of players. Masa only about one second behind first place. Both Spam and Shadow and Marco dropping down at the same part. DNB losing speed in the underground section. Masa can pass him and go up to fifth place, fourth place even. Uh, looking at the top, it looks like it's going to be Kai winning just ahead of Fool and Coons. Uh, this will be a red point. Spam will take an important fifth place ahead of Shadow and DNB. No, wait a minute, it's going to be a draw. Uh, yeah, I was wrong about that. It's a draw instead, so the score will stay at 2-1. But so far, uh, a pretty close uh, matchup here. But of course, the Netherlands, they can't afford to lose any more rounds uh, on this track and also the other two if they want to get to the playoffs. So uh, it's not looking too good for them right now, but pretty much was an impossible task anyway. See if they can win this next one. It's DNB in the lead. At a fool and coon spam will advance to fourth place, but not the best turn there. Kai can overtake him and is back to fourth. Coons losing a bit of speed, still able to land uh, in a good way in front of Kai, and that was fool dropping down in the end. DNB and Kai will take first and second place. Good time there from DNB. 49.84 and yeah, we see the GG's being written in the chat. The Netherlands will not reach the playoffs anymore. But they will uh, continue driving anyway. See if they can uh, take down Germany in this match. Shadow with a bad start. And I'm not so sure if he made a jump. Yes, he did, so he can continue driving. But he will, of course, be far behind. DNB in the lead. Ahead of Spam and Kai at third place. Oh. And Spam getting a bit closer, but a good exit from DNB. Building up lots of speed. For that stretch. One turn left here for DNB. Looks like he's gonna take eight points. We see also that Koons has retired for Netherlands. And I believe this will be a blue point shadow. Last player to finish. Putting the score at 4 1. Germany are taking over a bit. See if uh, the Netherlands can come back from this as we start the eighth round. Again, playing to seven. Oh, uh, looks like Kai has made an early mistake. He's gonna be far, far behind. Got enough speed to make the jump at least and can continue driving. Spam losing a bit of speed as well. And also Massa at sixth place. So three players down. Looks like DNB is in the lead, fighting it off against Fool. Oh, oh, Fool went too close to the wall. Shadow can pass him and go up to second place. And that's going to make it a blue point. Had Spam been in front of uh, Massa, then it would have been a draw, but that was not the case. So now the score is 5 1 in favor of Germany. And it looks like Kai actually respawned. I oh, know he retired, so it's not gonna matter. Um, still gonna be a blue point. So yeah, 5 1. Germany two points away from winning the dirt map. And uh, Germany 
if they win this match, uh, wow, <laughs> I don't know what the fool was doing there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if uh, Germany wins this match, uh, then they will take first place in the group. And with that, we'll play against Sweden, who took second place in uh, Group B. So that's going to be a repeat of uh, last year's Grand Final. Should be an interesting match. And then the other semi-final would be France versus uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia. Alright, back to the match is Massa. Kai and DNB, top 3 for Germany. Shadow is at 5th, so this is going to be a an easy point for Germany. 49.84 by Massa, 0.93 by Kai, 0.95 by DNB. 3 players under 50 seconds, also Shadow with a decent time. And it's quickly 6-1. It was fairly close in the start of this uh, sub-match, but uh, Germany have now completely taken over and are only one point away from closing out this sub-match. Uh, okay. Looks like someone might have disconnected. Yeah, DNB seems to have uh, disconnected, so that's why everyone's standing still. So we'll have to wait for him before we can continue this match. And that could take a bit of time. Sometimes the player is back within seconds, but uh, if the computer also crashed, then it might take a bit longer. Let's take a look at the team scores as we are waiting for DNB to get back to the server. Fool is currently in the lead with 49 points, Kai with 47, DNB also with 47, Massa with 41, Shadow with 40. Koons with 38, Spam with 34, and Marco with 25 points. And the fastest time is uh, 49.82. Uh, no, wait, 49.72 by Kai for Germany. So about half a second from the world record. Uh, okay, might actually. Uh, you might actually see DNB being replaced by someone else. No, never mind. He's back on the server, so we should start momentarily. All right. A quick restart here, and we are going live again. Good luck, have fun. 6-1 is the score for Germany on the first sub match. Played on the track ESL Chinoir by Kassin. And off we go, following DNB. And the first player to drop down is Shadow for Germany. In the meantime, it's Massa in the lead, but not for long. Gets too close to the wall. In these uphill turns, or in the downhill turns, you kind of always want to go as close to the walls as possible in dirt, and uh, as a result, you quite often see players uh, clipping the wall. Uh, good uh, speed here from DNB. Takes the lead with 1500s out of Kai. Uh, Fool and Coons, and also Spam, doing fairly well, so this might still be a red point. But DNB and Kai will take first and second place, and then Massa. Able to stay in front of Marco with a few hundreds, and that will make it a blue point, and also will uh, finish off the track. 7-1 is uh, the final result here for Germany, as we are moving on to the next track. We'll see if it's going to be the tech or the full speed track. I think it might be tech. Or maybe not. Hmm. 
This is, of course, the speed track, so maybe we are playing that one first. Yeah, I guess we are. So yeah, this is uh, the speed track. It's called Kaioken, and it's a duo track, meaning uh, two people made it. Hunter and Hyowin are the authors, and the world record is 49.031 by Mada. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, Germany got a very, very strong uh, full speed team. I think pretty much only France uh, got the capacity to uh, give uh, Germany a match in this uh, style. Netherlands got a pretty good team as well, I think. Uh, Tiddy Slayer and uh, uh, this player, Skater, I guess. Might be pretty good. And also Mango. I think those are playing for uh, full speed teams. We also see that Coons and Spam, the two tech players, maybe their best tech players are also on the server, so they might be playing. For Germany, though, we got uh, Harry, Dan, Nimp, and uh, maybe Hunter, the author of the track, playing. We'll see. But um, I don't really expect the Netherlands to win much points on this track. Granted though that this one is a pretty difficult track. Um, yesterday, when I cast Sweden versus the Baltics, we saw an insane amount of uh, crashes. And lots of players uh, retiring in each round. Especially this ending is hard. You gotta make that uh, jump, otherwise you can't finish. Actually, you can finish it if you slow down and take an alternative route. Uh, we'll see if any of the players will do it in this match. But that's definitely good to know. As we are uh, seeing a couple of warm-up rounds. And it's uh, 5 versus 5 right now. Pretty sure though that Masa is not playing this track. But he did play the dirt track, so maybe he's playing all the all tracks, because I'm pretty sure he's playing tech. Um, let's just take a look at the daddy as we are waiting. So we see that uh, Dan is at top 3, 49.26. Nimp, top 4, 49.30. Mango, top 8, 49.45. Titty Slayer at top 12, 49.55. Harry at top 17, 49.75. Skater at top 23, 49.84. And that is the last player. So we do have uh, three players from the Netherlands in the Deddy. And then also three players for uh, Germany in the Deddy. So yeah, I mean, looking at that, it might actually be a pretty close match. As I think we are going to start now. Based on the good luck have funs being written in the chat. Yes, there we go. The restart is made and we are going live into the second sub-match of this ESL Stadium Nations Challenge 2015 group stage match between Germany and the, ne the Netherlands. This is the last play day and uh, the Netherlands can no longer qualify to the playoffs. Had to win this match uh, with uh, winning all sub-matches and then also um, losing only two rounds and they've already lost seven. They could still defeat Germany though and with that uh, giving first place in the group to Czech Republic Slovakia which would make uh, the semi-finals look a bit different I believe. So we'll see if that's gonna happen as we are live into the first round following Mango for the Netherlands. So it goes through the wall ride Trying to do the speed drift to build up as much speed as possible. It's Nimp who's currently in the lead ahead of Hunter and Dan. As uh, I expected, Massa is not playing this one. Top three right now for Germany. Uh, we also see that Skater has retired for the Netherlands. And that's not uh, a good sign. 
Coming up to the final wall ride. Top three still for Germany. Nimp. No, wait a minute. Dan will take first place. 49.55. Nimp. Seven thousands of a second behind him. And then Hunter. Twelve hundreds behind Dan. So that was a very, very impressive round. Titty Slayer and Mango also with good times. 0.70. And then Harry with a time under 50 seconds as well. So that was a good round to start off this sub-match. But uh, yeah, that was quite impressive. As we see Titty Slayer crashing in the start. And also Mango is out. We'll have to retire. So already... Two Dutch players are no longer able to finish and get any points. We see that Dan and Nimp are at first and second. Let's follow Dan as he goes through the track. Titty Slayer is still driving, so looks like he might be able to get some points. But as long as it's a top two for Germany, it's not going to matter. Actually, where is the fourth uh, German player? Uh... Harry. Oh, Harry is also retired, yeah. And we also see that Titty Slayer retired, so three players not finishing this one. Dan and Nimp first and second. Hunter at fourth, and that will make it around for Germany. But I don't know where Harry went, though. Okay, he's driving, but Titty Slayer is standing still, so I guess we are waiting for him. Yeah. So this is not live. And it will be restarted and now we'll go live again. A great start here from Dan winning the two first rounds. 49.44 in that previous round, that is a really good time. And we are live again, following Harry, who does not get a good landing. So that will put him at last position. See if he can make a comeback. Spam. Oh, spam! Clipping the wall. So he's not going to be able to finish this one. And neither will Harry. Gets a drift there as he was going through the loop. And went outside. Looks like Mango is currently in the lead for the Netherlands. Could be an important first place. Dan and Nimp and Hunter behind him though. And I think Dan might actually be able to win his third round in a row. Great finish here from Dan. 49.36. Wow. Mango actually setting a top 7 Deadly Mania record with 49.39. But still not enough to win it. Uh, three players retiring. It is a blue round. 10-1 now in favor of Germany. And uh, if this continues, then soon enough uh, the Netherlands will no longer have a chance to win the match. So they need to start winning these rounds pretty soon. And then uh, do very well on the tech track which is coming up next we see that Nimp is currently in the lead Mango at second, Dan at third, Harry at fourth but then Skater will pass him Titty Slayer and Spam seventh and eighth coming up to the ending looks like Nimp will be the winner this time can Mango stay in front of Dan? No! Dan with another good finish Actually setting the same time, but will be rewarded with the second place. And all four German players under 50 seconds and only 21 hundreds between them. A very impressive performance, putting the score at 11-1. Really impressive being able to play so consistently on this track. I mean, compared to uh, yesterday uh, in S Sweden versus the Baltics, we saw so many um, players retiring the rounds, but uh, that's not really the case in this uh, this match. We we have seen quite a lot of uh, people retiring though, but not nearly as many. Harry with a good section there builds up lots of speed but then loses all of his speed 
exiting the loop, goes down to fourth place. Mango and Titi Slayer first and second for the Netherlands. And that will make it a red point. Hunter retiring as well, so the Netherlands will get their second point. And it's 4-1 now on the speed track. Dan currently leading in the team scores with 37 points. Nimp at second with 32. Mango with 25. Hunter with 20. Titty Slayer with 18. Harry with 13. Skater with 12. And Spam at 9. And Dan got the fastest time so far. And he's also in the lead in this next round. Seven or eighteen hundreds now ahead of Hunter at second place. Uh, looks like Harry has retired though. And Nimp is at seventh place, so this will be another opportunity for the Dutch to win their third round. Let's see if they can do it. Hunter will take second place behind Dan, but oh wait a minute. Nimp will feed Skater who crashed in the end and he's not going to be able to have enough speed to make it and that will make it a blue point instead. So an unfortunate late crash there from Skater. Puts the score at 5-1 instead and 12-2 in the total score. Great start here from Harry. TT Slayer goes up to second place. Looks like Skater is at last. So let's follow him for a good overview. Mango dropping down in speed ever so slightly. Goes down to seventh place, so two Dutch players at the bottom. Dan, Hunter and Harry, top three for Germany. Titi Slayer will pass Harry coming up to the final wall ride, but uh, won't matter, of course. Dan will take it, 49.59, Hunter 0.68, Harry 0.78, and Nim 0.90. Another solid round here from Team Germany. And I think we are... Uh, well, basically the Netherlands will have to start winning now. 6-1, it's map point for Germany on the full speed track. They've been dominating first on dirt track and now also on the full speed track. Dan will take the lead, Mango at second. Then we have Nimp, Harry and Titi Slayer following. Looks like both Hunter and Skater have retired. So one from each team. Top three for Germany, this is looking good. Mango is still doing the best for the Netherlands, but he's just too far behind and I think he crashed. So this is definitely going to be it. Dan wins the next or the last round. 49.61. Harry with 0.71. Ahead of Mango with 0.78. Nimp with 0.80. Titi Slayer with 0.86. And Spam with 55.11. Making the end result 7 1 again. And we'll move on to the last submatch, the Tech one. See if uh, the Netherlands can do a bit better on this uh, submatch. I think this is probably their best uh, style. Spam and Coons are very good players. Also, Dutchy is really good. As I said, he did good in. Uh, Massa's Surs Cup, which was played uh, last weekend. He reached the final, I think. Uh, so that was quite impressive. So he's gonna be a uh, good addition for the Dutch team. Koons is actually not on the server, so maybe he's not playing. We see that Suf is uh, on the server, and so is Ruva. So that might be the Dutch lineup. For Germany, we got Saffron, Massa, Joe Duki. And Triple X playing. And that is also a really good team on paper. 
Uh, basically, Germany got no weaknesses. Like, all their lineups are very good. So, it's gonna be hard to defeat them. Sweden will have to know life if they want to uh, have a chance. Oh, okay, he reached the semi-finals and not the grand final, but still, that was quite a good uh, result. As we see Koons now on the server, so it looks like he will be playing. Um, don't think we're starting now, though. Still have a couple of more warm-ups. Fairly sure that Koons and Spam will be playing for the Netherlands, but not so sure who the other two players will be. Uh, okay, it's gonna be live actually, so let's go live into the first round of the final sub match. The tech one between Germany and the Netherlands, and we see Massa hitting the pole in the start. I don't think he knows it's live because it's not driving. Uh, it was kind of unexpected actually. But yeah, I guess we're continuing to drive here, following Spam, who goes up in the lead, together with Saffron, Ruva, and Triple X. So the lineup for the Netherlands is Dutch, Dutchy, Suf, Ruva, and Spam. Kuns not driving. Spam losing a bit of ground halfway through the round. Looks like Massa is driving, but it's 23 seconds behind, so he's not going to be able to finish this one. Triple X currently in the lead, ahead of Ruva at second. No wait, Saffron at second now. Top two for Germany coming up to the ending. And it looks like it's going to be a point for them. Triple X wins it, 54.88. Saffron 54.96. Ahead of uh, Ruva, J Joe Duki, Dutchy, Spam, Suf, and Massa retiring. Oh, looks like Massa got his gamepad disconnected, so that's why he didn't play. But didn't matter, of course. Germany still won it and are in the lead with 1-0. Joe Duki clipping the wall. Puts him at dead last. 8600s behind uh, Ruva in the lead. Hits the apex well and builds up quite a lot of speed. Just in front of Massa, who did uh, extraordinarily well on this track yesterday in the ESL CPS 15 match. AT Gaming versus uh, against All Authority. Often had really good uh, start, especially. But it's not gonna win this round, it's Ruva instead who's in the lead. Saffron though will attack. Can he pass him here in the end? Great finish from Saffron. He will actually take it. 200s ahead of Ruva. Amazing finish there. Massa with a flip. Missing the finish line but able to drive backwards to get the one point. And it looks like the Netherlands did win that one. So they will collect their third point in the total score. It's uh, one point apiece, apiece here on uh, the tech map. We'll see if this one will be a bit closer than the previous two. I think it will actually. Triple X with now having a good start. Mas at second, Joduki at third, and Saffron almost at fourth place. Another good turn from Ruva though, goes up to third. Top two for Germany with Massa in the lead. Not the best turn there from Ruva. Will allow Saffron and Dutch to pass him and then he gets the bump and is uh, thrown into the pole. Massa also with a small bump in the, in the no uh, downhill and Saffron can pass him. And also Dutch goes up to second place. I think this will be a blue point. Yes, Joruki and Triple X in front of Spam, Ruva and Suf. Putting the score at 16-3.
Saffron has started off the best. 23 points so far. 54.74 is his fastest time. As we start the fourth round following Ruva. Suf and Spam go up to first and second place, but then Suf ends up hitting the wall and he's down to the bottom instead. Triple X takes over the lead from Ruva. Saffron goes up to third place. Spam goes down to fourth. Looks like Dachi has crashed and is behind with quite a lot of seconds. We also see that Ruva will crash. Here is Dachi, four seconds behind the top, which is occupied by Triple X. And it looks like this might be an ace for Germany. Triple X at first place, Saffron at second, Massa at third, and Joe Duki at fourth place. Great round from Germany. 54.87 by Triple X, 55.01 by Saffron, 0.07 by Massa, and 0.16 by Joe Duki. Giving no chance to the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, I said that this would maybe be a bit closer, but. I might have been wrong about that. 3-1 now. So you might see 7-1 uh, on all three maps. Saffron dropping down. Also Suf and Dutchie. Looks like they crashed at the same exact uh, spot. So Saffron can pass them as I'm getting attacked by a mosquito. I'm gonna try to kill it. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Alright, back to the match. Uh, Saffron uh, still at 6th place ahead of Suf and uh, Dachi. Let's take a look at the top. Here's Massa on a good time, only 1600s from the Deadly Wreck. Joe Duki is uh, just behind him at 2nd place. Top 2 for Germany, Spam and Ruba 3rd and 4th, but it's not gonna matter, Triple X and Saffron, no wait a minute, Suf will pass, and also Dutchie will pass Saffron, however it's still a point for Germany, uh, the round score was 2016, so 18-3 uh, now, 4-1 in the sub-match. Starting the sixth round, once again it's Massa with the best start, Joe Duki having trouble staying on the road, not the best trajectory, so he will lose a couple of positions, Dachi, Ruva and Suf all passing him, but uh, Joe Duki building up good speed over the drop, can go up to third place, Massa still keeping that first place, Triple X at six and Saffron at eight, this could still go either way, as we are nearing the end, good part there from Joe Duki. Could maybe go up to second place. Spam has dropped down to eight. Joe Duki going a bit too wide, clipping the wall. Ruva has Zufel pass and then Triple X almost uh, uh, flew over, over Joe Duki in the end. We'll take six though, but that's gonna be a red point. So it's not gonna be 7 1 on all three tracks. Oh, as we see Joe Duki crashing in the start. 4-2. Uh, I still think the Netherlands can uh, maybe win this sub-match. But it's not going to be easy and they definitely have to step up their game. Oh, but that's not what they needed. Spam is out. Can continue driving at least but it's not going to collect any uh, huge amount of points right now at 8th place. Massa and Saffron first and second place having a massive lead over, over everyone else. Uh, Suf, Dachi and Ruva ahead of Joe Duki and uh, Triple X though, but then we see Ruva dropping down to 7th and that's going to make it a blue point I'm pretty sure. Yes. So 19 for now. and 5-2 on the tech map. 
All right, let's take a quick look at the team scores. Saffron still in the lead with 39. Masside second with 37. Triple X with 36. Ruva with 32. Dutchy with 32 as well. Joruki with 31 points. Suvu 23. And Spam only with 21 points. And I would argue that Spam is normally uh, their best player, of course. Did take fourth at EWC, but not having... Uh, a great performance in this match. Of course, the Netherlands have already lost, so I'm pretty sure his motivation is not at its highest. As we see, Massa and Saffron at 7th and 8th place. No, wait a minute. Dutchie is behind them. Quite far behind them, even. 8 seconds. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, spam into the wall. Massa will take over uh, his position. In the lead, though, it's Triple X and Joruki for Germany. First and second place, Saffron and Massa ahead of Spam and Dutchie. That will make it a blue point. And it's now 20 to 4. And a map point at 6 2. Alright, let's see if. Uh the Netherlands can win any more rounds or if this is going to be the final nail in the coffin. Here we go. Starting the ninth round. And it's a good start from all four German players. Led by Massa. Joruki going a bit close to the wall, but we'll stay on the road as we see Massa dropping down. Actually, where is he? Oh, he retired. Okay, um, but it still might be a blue point. Uh, Ruva in the lead, but Joruki and Triple X doing well. Saffron is now out. Uh, yeah, he's far behind, so I guess this will be another red point. Ruva still keeping that first place. Let's see if he can keep it. Through the last corner as well. Here comes Joruki. Ruva clipping the wall. But only his teammates will pass him. So this will be a red point. So the Netherlands uh, making it look a bit better at 25 now. They might be able to win maybe one or two more rounds. But... Feels like Germany... Got this in the bag, as we saw Spam getting a small bump, but avoided uh, hitting the pole. So he can continue driving. Oh, both Saffron and Triple X down for Germany, and it's Dutchy in the lead ahead of Suf, Ruva and Spam. Dutchy and also Suf will drop down though. Spam can go up to second place after his early mistake, or not mistake. He got the bump. Oh, okay, close to the wall, but we'll build up good speed over this stretch, so should be able to overtake Joruki. Massa has retired again, so he doesn't uh, seem to be in a hurry to close out this match. Spam looks to take first place. I think this will be another red point. 54.99 by Spam. Joruki at second, Ruva at third, Dutchie at fourth, Saffron at fifth, Suf at sixth, Triple X at seventh, and Massa retiring. And it's now 20 to 6. And 6 4. Alright, let's see. Will Massa retire again? That is the question. I think. Uh, may want to see a closer score. Ruva will crash in the start. And Massa with the lead, only 1,000 of a second behind the Deadly Wreck, so maybe he's going for a bit of time attack, trying to set as fast of a time as possible. So far, so good. Saffron at second, Triple X at third, and Joduki at fourth place. Oh, oh, wow. Went inside of the pole. Suf with much more speed going outside of it. Joduki will drop down to 6th place now. Dutchy passing him in the downhill and Massa will again not finish this one. But uh, this time I think Germany might still win it. Triple X and Saffron first and second. Joduki with the flip into the finish. And that is going to be it. Germany will take it. Putting the final score at 22 to 6. 
and will with that take first place in Group A, which means they will play against Germany in the upcoming semi-finals, which I think will be played um, uh, next uh, week. You can see the group here. Czech Republic, Slovakia will take second place. And with that position, they will face off against France in the other semi-finals. So that should be an interesting match. Um, and I assume that one will be played at the same time. It would be good though if they were played like after each other, but it's kind of hard with the CPS being played later in the evening, of course, and also DPS. Uh, but yeah, no, that's gonna be it for me. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll be back next weekend with the playoffs. See ya!